I saw someone else on YouTube do this, so I'm going to do my version of it. 31 movies to watch for Halloween. I'm Mike Lynn. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button. Like button also. Share with friends if you don't mind. Also, please comment. Ask me a question or a comment in general. I do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below. And you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. If you want to become a fan of me, Auckland, then subscribe to the channel and you will become a fan. I hope so. And I failed to mention when I did the guilt video yesterday, I was going to mention that's going to be a Halloween video. Uh, and I created a playlist for 2023 Halloween videos. And I'm going to put all the Halloween videos in that playlist, including that one. Alright, let's get started. First movie is The Ring. You talking about a creepy movie? A movie that may even bother you. It just all depends on how you take it. About a, v a VHS tape. If you watch it, you'll die in seven days if you don't share it with somebody else. Messed up movie, I know. But there's also more to it than just that. There's three movies in the series. The first two are the best. The third one is like, eh, it's, it's okay, it's alright. The Ring 2, there it is. Alright, I got the third one in here somewhere. Hey, Misty, dude, what you doing? Alright, House of Wax. Great, creepy movie. Messed up movie. It's, it's, it's the reason why the movie is called House of Wax. If you don't already know about it, it is creepy, messed up, but it is good. And if you're a fan of Supernatural, the uh, actor who plays as Sam in that Supernatural TV show, he's in that movie. Alright, next is Truth or Dare. I have not seen it yet, but I'm going to be watching it very soon. I have a feeling it's about Truth or Dare. But it goes wrong, that would be my guess. Alright, next is another one that I have not seen. There's probably some more in here that I haven't seen either. Uh, Unfriended. So I have a feeling it's something about the internet. Maybe somebody sends out a friend request somewhere. Either on, I'm just guessing, either on Twitter, Facebook or something. And they got unfriended. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But I'm going to soon watch that movie and I'm sure it goes completely wrong. That's why the girl is on the cover is screaming. Because something went wrong. <laughs> Please let me know down in the comments. Have you seen any of these movies? And which ones are your favorites if you have seen them? Rings. There's the third one right there. It's not as good, like I said, as the first two. But it's, it's okay. But it's just not as good. Now, technically, it's more than 31 movies. Because I just remembered uh, at least two of these have multiple movies but anywho let's just count 31 because 31 cases this is a two movie pack of gremlins and gremlins 2 the new batch those are good for halloween they're they're not like gory heavy uh but it's got some gory moments in it but it just all depends on how you look at it it's got a a cute cuddly friendly looking creature in the movie and then stuff just goes wrong. And, uh, so yeah, and it's just good movies, but it's got creepy moments in it as, as, as well. The Conjuring 1 and 2, double pack. I have not seen The Conjuring movies, but I have seen Annabelle. And I know those movies and the Nun movies are all connected in one universe. And I haven't seen all of those, but I have seen the first Annabelle. And I really enjoyed it. And then, in, in talking about that, Annabelle right here. And on, even on the cover, it says, Before the Conjuring, there was Annabelle. I've seen that one. I enjoyed it. I feel like Annabelle got uh, an inspiration from Chucky. Because back in the day, that's the only movie that I knew of that was about a doll. That wasn't just an ordinary doll. And then here comes Annabelle, years later. That's what I feel like. I, I blame Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, there's also the Chucky TV show and all that, and that stuff's good too, but we're not going to get into that. 
Halloween. This is the first of the reboot series trilogy of films. This is the first one. I don't have the other ones, but that one is good. Uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. I have a feeling this is not the first one because I saw at Walmart they had a collection or it might have been a trilogy. And so I'm not sure if this is the first movie or the second movie or what. I'm not sure. But I'm going to be checking this out very soon and it stars John Goodman in a horror film. So that's pretty cool. The Lost Boys. Such a classic. It's really, really good. <clears throat> now, some people out there that don't like this movie, I like it. I wish I had <clears throat> the sequel on Blu-ray as well, but I don't. I got it on DVD, but that will be way over 31 movies for sure. Uh, Silent Hill, based off of the, the video game. I like that movie. It's good. A Quiet Place. Can't go wrong with The Quiet Place, and definitely, if you want more, there's Quiet Place Part 2. I mean, you have to be quiet for a reason. If you know about the movies, then you know what I mean, and those movies are great. And there's supposed to be a, another one coming out, but it's not Part 3, though. It takes place before the first movie. I think it's called Quiet Place uh, Day 1 or something. I can't remember the title of it, so looking forward to that one. Here's a sequel to a movie that I don't have the first one, but I have seen the first one multiple times. The sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep, with um, Obi-Wan Kenobi himself in the movie. And that's that's good. Uh, they even uh, have like a, a nod towards The Shining in the movie, if you've ever seen it. Because that is a direct sequel to The Shining years later. Uh, Silent House. Haven't seen it yet. I'll be checking it out. Survival of the Dead. Uh, George Marrero. Mar Mar I can't say that last name. Uh, he's a very famous for doing zombie films. So, George, George, Rom George Romero. Maybe that's it. So I'm going to be watching that one. Haven't seen it yet. Shudder. Definitely have not seen that one yet. Okay. Now here's one I have seen multiple times. And now if you're going to reboot a horror film, this is how you do it. And you do it into two parts. It. And also It. Chapter 2. Yeah. Those movies are creepy, but it's so good. Another creepy one, as well, in a different kind of way, The Roommate. What a movie. You talking about uh, somebody trying to be your best friend, but they go too far with it? Yeah. That's The Roommate. The Boy. I haven't watched it yet. Now, there is a sequel out, which I don't have yet, but I got the first Boy movie. Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers at? If you know that song from the films, then, then there you go. I got the first one on Blu-ray. I do got the second one on DVD, but I don't have the third one at, at all. And I think they rebooted the series as well. And I have not seen that one yet. I don't know if that's going, going to be any good or not. Speaking of reboots, I got the Carrie reboot. I'm going to be checking that one out pretty soon. i never seen Carrie. i never seen the original. I never saw the sequel. Now, I don't know if they did any more after that. I don't know, to be honest. And then they got the Carrie reboot. And that cover. Look at that cover. That's something else. <laughs> That's something else. But I know about the plot of the story. I know what it's about. I just haven't seen it yet. Cabin in the Woods. That's good. That's really good. Next, The Grudge. Creepy messed up movie. If you are a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, there she is right there on the back. Uh, there are two more Grudge movies, and I think they did a, a reboot as well. I haven't seen the reboot, and I like to get the other ones on Blu-ray as well. 
and I'll probably check out the reboot someday and see if it's any good or not. May not be, but you never know. The Haunting in Connecticut. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. Creepy movie. It's pretty good, though. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah. There you go. Haven't seen it yet. Sounds messed up. Two more movies left. My Bloody Valentine. Speaking of Sam from Supernatural, here's his his brother. He's in this movie from Supernatural who was known as Dean Winchester and Sam Winchester. Well, Dean is in this movie. And, um, let's just say, um, uh, yeah, he's, uh, not very friendly. <laughs> so I guess you can watch this for a Valentine's Day movie if you're uh, more into horror than actual Valentine. But it does hint at being a Valentine's Day movie, but on the gory side. And also this is a Halloween movie as well. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Last one. And I think this is a good one to end it off with. You talking about a good horror movie that stars Megan Fox? Maybe you already know what it is. Jennifer's Body. Yeah, this is a good movie. Oh, it's good. It's really good. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Alright, please let me know down in the comments what y'all think about these 31 horror movies that I have in this video. Even though it's technically more than 31. But anywho... <laughs> Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, if you've seen any of these ones, if you have, which ones are your favorites? Have you heard about any of them? I would love to know down in the comments. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, bye. Uh.